Let us continue our prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Times. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sinfulness, our shortcomings. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Father. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and God, you may restore what you have re recreated and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You, you who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord that feeds us, he answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand of the Lord feeds us, he answers all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril 
or the sword? No. In all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, this is a deserted place and it's already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourself. But they said to him, five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. He ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They all ate and were satisfied. For some time now, we as a people in this country have had to change our way of life. because of COVID-19. People, scientists around the world are working tirelessly with every bit of technology at their disposal, trying to figure out how to move beyond this pandemic. It has not been an easy task for any of us.
But many of the scientists and leaders of our time are extravagant with their time and energy as they work to alleviate the ill in our world. So we ask ourselves, what can we do to help in this endeavor? We can pray. There are reports of people connected around the world in prayer. Praying for a speedy end to this time. Recently, I talked to someone who was recovering from the virus. She said to me, It was a scary time for me. I'm weak and tired. But your prayers and the prayers of all who are praying for me continues to lift me up. Your extravagant love for me is abundant in the way I feel daily. When we think of our God, God is extravagant in his love and care for us. God's extravagant love for us calls for us to respond. His love calls us to love each other as extravagantly as God loves us. In today's readings, we feel and experience how extravagant God is in dealing with his people. He showers us with all the things we need and even goes a little further by giving us the graces and blessings. All three readings are about God's extravagant love for us. In the first reading, we are invited to the most elaborate banquet of all. We are invited to all that we want, and it does not cost us anything. We don't have to earn it or work for it. God invites us to come in our hunger, in our thirst, our distress, our weariness, our loneliness, even when our circumstances seem impossible. This reading reveals a generous God who meets our human and spiritual needs and in meeting them gives not just enough but more than we need. We are being offered an abundant life and it's free. This is how God loves us. In the second reading, we're told that nothing separates us 
from the tremendous love of Christ. This love is poured out on us, and Jesus dis- demonstrates that love by the example of his life. Humiliating death on the cross and by his glorious resurrection. The gospel tells us more of that extravagant love. Jesus, Jesus moves away from the ordinary to retreat to a deserted place. A place where he can be nourished and nurtured. Time spent in prayer to prepare for God's people. However, the crowds gather and Jesus move with pity. With love reaches out to God's people. Jesus first loved those gathered so much that he shares the good news which is God's presence and his wonderful love for us. Then Jesus acts out in this love by providing all there, all present with a meal. This banquet feed 5,000 men, not counting the women and the children who were present. Everyone present had their fill, and those were left over, 12 baskets. How extravagant is that? This story tells us how much God loves us, and this love is extravagant. Jesus, given to us, by God is extravagant for his love for us. We have an obligation to be extravagant in our love for God. How do we do this? By the way we love one another. We should go beyond ourselves to share God's love with others. And this love for others must be extravagant. As we go about our tasks this week, be reminded of all three of today's readings. Just how much our God loves us in our day and in our time. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gracious and loving God, we come before you as your people 
to realize that you are compassionate and abounding in mercy. Aware that we must reflect these qualities to address the needs of our sisters and brothers, we therefore approach you with our concerns and ask you to make them your own. For all civil and religious leaders, that they will heed the wants of their people by prompt action so that their lives will be improved. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For all parents, they may live out their voca vacation, vocation by constant attention to the problems and concerns of their children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For caregivers, that I may discover in the example of Jesus the inspiration and the dedication necessary for, find, for finding self-fulfillment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, Father Noel Daniel, for the repose of the soul of Vincent Apostelli, Patsy Latham. Alonzo Leonard. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for inspiration and example of your son, Jesus. We dare to ask you that we too may find ourselves a fulfillment in meeting the needs of our sisters and brothers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. You, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise his hands for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior, Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, who stretched out his hands and endured his passion, to the break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory with one voice to your coming. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. You may call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time is depraved, and the willing to express it. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
the same little wedding was supper for the it. She took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, she gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Lord, we pray from every evil, grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we are always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let none of our sins put on the face of your church, and grace will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Men of God, we take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant peace. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, 
make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father and Son. Amen. 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 This child will receive her last few.